Hey, it's Squidly. I'm getting ready to go to the Smoky Mountains. I'm gonna be hiking there for a couple of days and what I'm gonna share with you today is my gear loadout. I'm gonna share with you really three things. What's going in my pack, what I'll be wearing, and what's in my food bag. So Here's the wide view of everything that I'm taking. And so now let's get into some specifics. Usually in the Smokies, you, uh, where I'm gonna be, you have to stay at the shelters. But because of COVID, they have relaxed the rules on the shelters and they're allowing you to tent. And I would much rather tent than be uh, packed in with another 12 to 15 people. So I'm taking my tent. Uh, it's the Gossamer Gear of the Two. That's the ground sheet. And I've got the uh, Cascade, what is it? Cascade Mountain Tech. Uh, trekking poles, uh, inexpensive poles, but I like them, so uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, and by the way, if, if you look at any of this and you decide that any piece of it, you feel like, ah, that's kind of controversial. It may be controversial to, to you. It may be controversial to uh, other people on YouTube. It is not controversial to me because it's mine. So, <clears throat> but if you, if you disagree with something or if you think something is interesting, um, comment down below. Uh, my sleep system, uh, there are not a whole lot of surprises here. Uh, the Thermarest uh, Neo Air X Lite. Um, I've got the Thermarest Airhead Pillow, which is fantastic. It is not uh, by any stretch ultralight. Uh, in fact, it's one of the heavier pillows, but man, is it comfortable and it makes all the difference. Uh, my sleeping bag for this trip um, is just a a really inexpensive 40 degree uh, sleeping bag that I got probably 15 years ago. It's synthetic, um, but I wanted to take it instead of uh, one of my down bags because it would just be way too warm uh, for down. Uh, I do have sleeping clothes because with the temperatures, I fully expect that my hiking clothes are gonna be um, pretty nasty even at the end of day one. So I have some, um, some sleeping clothes that I can change into, a pair of sleeping socks, which uh, for a, and this is a three day trip. So typically on the third day, those sleeping socks become my hiking socks. Uh, the only additional clothes that I'm taking, I've got a fresh pair of underwear. That is uh, right here. That is a uh, merino wool hoodie. Uh, because the, the morning temperatures may be a little bit cool, so I'm taking it. Uh, there's, a I think, about a 75% chance that it never comes out of my pack and never gets used, but I'm taking it anyway just because with the Smokies and the amount of rain they get and at the elevation I'm going to be at, there is the possibility that I'll be cool in the morning. And then I have a buff. All right, so the, uh, the, the kitchen, uh, that is my uh, food bag. That is from... Hilltop Packs has my, my logo on it, um, dumb as all that may be. Um, I'm taking a, this is one of the, um, one of the big canisters of fuel, uh, but it's only about half full, so, but anyway, I'm taking it just because I didn't want to buy a new one. Uh, that is my uh, pouch to, once I've poured the hot water in. My food, and put it in there and let it rehydrate and not completely lose all of its, um, all, all of its heat. That's the 750 Tokes. Uh, got a, uh, that's a long handle spoon. I don't know if you can't really see the long handle on it, but that's a long handle titanium spoon. I take a, uh, a bandana and uh, a lighter. Even though for the, for starting the stove, I don't need a lighter because that is, um, my stove has a, uh, a piezo on it. It is uh, the Primus, uh, I don't even remember the model. I, I've had it for about 18 years. I've had it forever. It's not, um, it's not ultra light. In fact, it's probably, probably most people would say, no, it's not even lightweight. Uh, but it works. It is fantastic. Love that stove. And until somebody makes a compelling argument for me to change it out, I'm not doing it. Um, and I've got the collapsible mug for coffee in the morning. Uh, two one liter and one half liter water bottles. Uh, there is one stretch that's pretty long where there's no 
additional water. And so that's the reason why I'm taking the extra half liter. Cause usually I just take the, the two one liter bottles and that's enough. And maybe, maybe won't even have them filled all the way up. Uh, all right, on the outside of my pack, well, the bottles are on the outside of the pack because they're in the, they're in the pouches on the outside. This is uh, my rain jacket. Uh, it's just a uh, an old school frog togs. Um, actually, kind of like that jacket, but I'm not taking rain pants. I've never been a big fan of the rain pants. Uh, I've taken them before and find that even in a downpour, I never wear them. Uh, my toilet kit. That includes uh, the deuce of spades, um, a couple of partial rolls of toilet paper. Do not judge me for the amount of toilet paper I take. They say you pack your fears. That is a fear. I'm taking it. Don't judge. And an umbrella. Uh, that is something just within the past probably year and a half I started using. And uh, for, for being in the rain, it's a game changer. It, it has made all the difference. It's just a, that's just a cheap, uh, lightweight, umbrella that I have, uh, if, if it tears up, it's, it's no loss. I just throw it away and start over. And that's, uh, that would not be the first time I've done that. My water filtering kit, that's a Sawyer squeeze and a knock bag and a couple of accessories for the, for the squeeze. And then all of that goes in the Z-Pax Arc Hall. And on the Arc Hall, that is uh, my my sit pad and it's just a it's just a cut off piece from a um, oh what I don't even know what brand it was uh, <laughs> uh, but just from an, an old foam pad and I just I just cut off part of it to use as a sit pad. Now the last part is my ditty bag. Uh, that's the ditty bag. It is it is empty. That is my OG ditty bag. I've had that thing. My goodness, that was the first ditty bag I ever had, so that thing is pushing 30 years old. Uh, that is my first aid and repair kit. Uh, just some, some very basic stuff in there. A um, uh, couple of the most important things for this time of year, uh, and, and I, I hate to sound like I'm being graphic, but that's just butt paste for chafing, uh, some stuff for uh, blisters, but now that I'm in uh, trail runners, I never get blisters. Watch, I'll get a two feet full of them now because I said that. And just some basic first aid stuff, some uh, antibiotic ointment and band-aids and that's it. Uh, my electronics, uh, again, this is um, a little bit different than what a lot of people do. Um, I, I've got a, of course I've got a battery pack because uh, just for three days, I, I don't need a whole lot of recharge. Uh, that is my light and, and I don't, I, I quit with the headlamp. Um, I just found that, that having a headlamp was, not particularly comfortable um, and and not as useful as some other things and I was given this as a gift uh, it's a Nebo light and maybe I should do a review on it sometime it's got a clip so you can you can hang it from inside your tent um, you can also see you can hook it and hang it inside the tent it also has a clip you can uh, hang it on your um, on your shirt as you're walking if you're walking in the dark um, and it it goes way down, I don't know how many candle power, but it goes down to, to very little um, light up to being extremely bright. Uh, I also take a uh, just an old school MP3 player and uh, the earbuds. I cut one of them off because I don't hike with um, with two earbuds in. Um, now this this little green bag right here. Uh, is what I do for my, my self-care, uh, taking care of my teeth. That is my, um, uh, if you've seen my video on hiking with diabetes, the, the, uh, all of this will make a little bit more sense, but uh, that's what I use to keep up with my, my medication. But I also put uh, some Aleve and some, um, some sleep aids, uh, my, my insulin pen, and I'm only gonna be out two nights, but I always take extra needles just in case I do something dumb like drop one. But anyway, all of that goes into that bag. And finally, in the, the hip belt pouch, uh, in addition to kind of squirreling away some snacks for the day, I also uh, take a couple of chapsticks and that little bitty knife, it goes with me. And I, right now I have two maps. Um, only one of them is gonna go with me and I haven't decided which one. Um, I have the one that's put out by the uh, Park Service, 
and the one from National Geographic. The one from National Geographic is, is bigger, it weighs more, uh, but it has more information on it, so I'm tempted to say that's the one I'm gonna take. Um, I'm leaning in that direction, haven't made up my mind yet. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there are a couple of things hanging on the outside of my pack. I have a bandana on the outside of my pack. Really, that's for uh, wiping sweat as the day goes on. Um, and then also hand sanitizer on the back, on the outside of the pack. So I forgot to mention I had those. All right, so here's a kind of a weird thing I take. Uh, I was not going to take this because of having to stay in the shelters, but since I'm staying in my tent, uh, I will be taking this this time. This is uh, a Clorox wipes bottle. And let's see, how do, you, how do I describe this? I take this because in the middle of the night, you see, when a man reaches a certain age, um, there's a a lot of trips you might have to make in the middle of the night, and this makes life easier. Let's talk about food. This trip is gonna be three days, two nights, and there are a couple of things that I'm gonna go over here that are probably gonna come as a little bit of a surprise or uh, just kind of unusual, and, and I'll get into some of that as we go. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to be there two mornings, so that's two breakfasts. That is Mountain House Biscuits and Gravy, which, oh my gosh, is good. And I'm trying something a little bit different. Um, I've, I've taken grits before. Um, so this is uh, three packs of grits, and I got uh, the, the number 10 can of Mountain House uh, scrambled eggs with bacon. And so I added some scrambled eggs and bacon just to put some protein in with those grits. I'm really looking forward to that. Haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it on the trip and we'll just we'll kind of see how that goes, but really looking forward to that. Uh, snacks through the day. Um, I've got some uh, leftover uh, teriyaki um, beef jerky and so I'm gonna take that with me. Uh, the the Gardettos, those uh, those garlic chips, uh, garlic rye chips. Oh my gosh, those things are fantastic. Uh, so I'm I'm taking those, and I've got uh, probably more bars per day than I could ever eat. Well, no, I could eat them, uh, but I'm trying something different on this trip uh, based on the uh, recommendation from my doctor uh, to to eat a little bit more through the course of the day. Um, of course, because I'm diabetic, I'm on a little bit of a restricted diet. And um, basically, he didn't completely, but but sort of turned me loose from some of those restrictions uh, when, I'm, when I'm hiking and backpacking and have that much energy output. Uh, if you're curious about more of that, uh, I have a video on hiking with diabetes. You might go check that out. All right, my lunches. Um, Again, this is sort of weird. Uh, I, I'll have two lunches. So I'm gonna do the, um, the teriyaki chicken one day and the yellowfin tuna uh, with, the, uh, with the olive oil uh, the other day. And then I've got uh, some, some uh, smoked Gouda cheese. Now, all of that is nothing but protein and fat. Uh, there are no carbohydrates there at all which is where some of the snacks will come in. And, and more on that here in just a second. Um, drinks, uh, I like some of these, um, these uh, additives to water to kind of give it some flavor. And then uh, I have a couple of um, uh, instant coffees for the two mornings. Uh, my dinners, that is Mountain House, Oh, what is that? Um, lasagna and Mountain House beef stroganoff, which is one of my favorite Mountain Houses. Man, that's good. And then an extra Ziploc bag. That's my trash bag. Now, <clears throat> this is where it gets a little weird because, uh, and it's because I'm diabetic. Um, you know, we're always uh, advised to have extra food just in case. And in my case, with extra food, it's not just in case it's a necessity because I've 
I've had some things kind of go wrong before with, uh, with my meals and uh, with my blood sugar. So based on the recommendation from my doctor, I take gummies in case my sugar drops in the middle of the night. I take one extra dinner um, and I, I really like this roasted garlic mashed potatoes with some, uh, with some chicken added to it. That may not sound like much, but dang, it's good. And I've got a bunch of extra bars. Now, I'm not going to take all of these. This is just left over from when I went shopping and what I had. Uh, but I'm going to take some of that, but I won't be taking all of it. So anyway, that's what, that's what I'm taking for, for three days, two nights. And all of that will go in my food bag. And I'll add one change to what goes in my food bag. In addition to all the food, I'm also going to put my stove. Uh, that's my my hanging um, line and and little bag to throw over a limb just in case I need it. I, I know there are cables, uh, but I'm taking it just in case. Uh, my spoon, my cook pot, fuel, and the um, I don't even know what to call that. Just the the pouch uh, for your food to cook and not. Uh, lose all of its heat. All of that stuff will also go in my food bag. Here's a wide view of my clothes. This is the stuff I'll be wearing every day. These are the North Face. Uh, they're, they're really quick drying shorts. Uh, I've been hiking in these for years. Have yet to wear them out. Um, sometimes they they wear a little bit long and so I sort of roll them up at the at the waistband and and they they go on to be um really comfortable my shirt i have a couple of these this is an under armor uh, this is my my really thin one uh, and i've debated whether to take this one or my my one that has a it's not that it's thick but it just has a really tight weave uh holds in a little bit more heat and i'm, I'm thinking that because of the time of year uh i'm i'm, I'm going to stick with this one i'm not going to go with that tighter weave but Anyway, I've, I've had this uh, completely soaked all the way through, and just by wearing it, uh, it'll dry out in just really no time. Uh, a pair of uh, polyester underwear. Those are darn tough socks, and I mentioned in a previous video that I'm, I'm not real happy with uh, darn tough socks. Um, we got, I've got reasons why, but... Um, I've got a pair of darn tough and I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep going and using them until they wear out, which might be never because they have a lifetime warranty. They never wear out apparently. Um, I'm, I'm taking a, uh, a buff. Uh, and, and in fact, uh, the, in the previous part of this video, you saw I had a buff. I think I'm taking two, um, just in case. Um, just in case of what? I have no idea. Why am I taking two? Let me rethink that. Uh, I have the Ultra Temp 1.5s. Uh, they're okay. Uh, I'm not a super huge fan of that zero drop. Uh, just like with, um, just like with the darn tough socks, I'm going to wear these until I or use them, just until I wear them out. And and this may come as a shocker, but I think when I'm through with these, I'm going back to the Asics Gel Venture Six. Man, I love those shoes. And, and they are not an expensive pair of, uh, of trail runners. They're really inexpensive. You, you, and to look at them, you probably wouldn't think much. Uh, the only advantage that these Temp 1.5s have is the wider toe box, but man, those, uh, those other ones are, those Asics are, are fantastic shoes. And then uh, my trucker hat. So, uh, and I've got to treat all of this uh, before I go, I've got to treat all of this um, with permethrin. I got a bottle, uh, so I'll be uh, treating all this uh, here in the next couple of days before I go. All right, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you got something from it. Um, my, my setup is, is no better or worse than anybody else's. Probably different because uh, everybody will have different pieces that go in theirs. Uh, I would love, uh, if you're seeing this, to have some kind of discussion in the uh, in the comments below uh, about about some of the pieces I have and uh, I'm, I'm open to comments and criticism and and you know questions about why are you doing that and that kind of thing uh, totally open to that so if you have any comments please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe